Hey guys, it's Blake. How are you? I am doing good. We are at the Dollar Tree, and this video is finding rare, valuable, collectible Dollar Tree toys that you can resell, have for personal use, or give as a gift so you don't look so cheap. Uh, just because they sell for a dollar in there does not mean they're only worth a dollar. If you watch my channel, you know a lot of things, surprisingly, are worth big profits. So without further ado, let's pop in there and I'll show you some toys that are gonna blow your mind. Or at least, you know, maybe surprise you. Let's go. First thing I noticed in this Dollar Tree was that the shelves were kind of bare. Not a lot of stuff here. It's kind of been picked over. And I thought, oh geez, all the good stuff has been bought. You're wasting your time. But you know, I didn't waste my time. I found some really great stuff. Uh, the first thing I found was these Starlink toys right here. They're for, uh, it's a video game accessory for the game Starlink. If you watched my last video on video games at the Dollar Tree, I bought a whole bunch of games that are, you know, this toy is for, uh, and I'm selling them for about 20 bucks. The price is kind of volatile on those. And just like these is kind of volatile too. It's gonna be all over the place. They're selling for between six and ten dollars. Personally, I would hold out for like eight to ten bucks. Uh, but as you can tell, like a, a relatively high quality toy compared to the average Dollar Tree toy you might see on the shelf or more likely on the ground. Sometimes you're gonna see fashion dolls like this. What the heck's a fashion doll? I don't know. But sometimes you're also gonna see Barbie branded toys. Even though this Dollar Tree was picked over a lot of shelf space, a lot of wall space, I still found about four of these collectible accessory Barbie minifig toys. When you sell these, you're not relying on the barcode on the back to make a listing. Uh, you're gonna have to use your own keywords and make a bundle listing. You're gonna sell this for like six bucks individually, but it's gonna cost like three bucks to ship. If you pair up five of these, as long as it weighs below a pound, you're gonna get much cheaper shipping. It's gonna be first class shipping, so like a buck an item with five items under a pound. Uh, and you can say, you know, small Barbie collectible minifig set. Maybe the toy's name, they all have their own names. Uh, each of like the, like if you look in the side of the packaging, you're gonna see that this is called like the Chef or uh, yeah, Chef Barbie, something like that. And so say Chef Barbie plus accessories. And then what I would do is put it at like five bucks per. So you have four of these, put it at 20 bucks. Uh, it's gonna ship for like five or six dollars, hopefully less. You're paying, you know, four or five bucks for the toys, however many you put in the bundle, and you're gonna make out with a decent profit. You can do the same thing with these minion toys, the Rise of Gru, or these My Little Pony toys. Uh, I've seen these in bundles on eBay, and when they do that, the sellers, what they're doing is one of each and saying, oh, it's the full set. And if you don't have the full set, don't worry, not a big deal. You can sell partial sets because people who collect these, maybe they already have Twilight Sparkle. Maybe they already have, uh, don't worry, I'm gonna pick that up. Maybe they already have uh, whatever you're gonna take a picture of and they have to fill out their set or they want duplicates or triplicates triplicates they want three times you know whatever it is uh, and you are satisfying that need again you're gonna bundle these to save on shipping if you sell them individually you still can make some money but if you bundle Dollar Tree products that weigh under a pound and get that cheap first class shipping rate you are really gonna maximize your profits uh, and that's what I'm here to help you do is to help you make some money and don't worry there are some more great items coming up next I really actually was surprised like I said I thought there'd be you know kind of a bust video but uh, you know it was actually pretty good if you were walking by this pile at the bottom of a Dollar Tree shelf would you look at it and scan things or would you just say oh that's trash I thought it was trash I'm not gonna lie uh, but then I began looking a little bit closer and I saw, oh geez, there's actually some good stuff here. There's some branded, you know, Disney Toy Story 4 stuff. Uh, you saw a Hot Wheels book earlier. All of this stuff can be sold individually for a small profit, but if you bundle, let's say you find a Toy Story coloring book and you have the Toy Story crayon set or the Toy Story marker set, you can bundle these $1 items all together and sell them for as long as it was under a pound, you know, maybe 15 bucks and really make out with like 10 bucks profit, including the cost of shipping, including the cost of eBay fees. Okay, so this one isn't a toy, but I had to include it because man, what a great deal. So these are giant 38 inch 
by 47 inch Toronto Blue Jay polyester fan flags. This is a calendar. I thought it was kind of valuable, whatever, for a dollar. Hey, you know, I bought one, why not? But these flags here, I have sold identical flags for $9 a piece. They are very lightweight. They cost about three bucks to ship. So all in, you're at $4 with the cost of goods uh, and shipping. We'll say four fifty dollars just to be generous. At $9, you're making double your money back. Um, you know, if I was looking for more inventory, I would have bought all of these, right? Every single one of them, because there are so many Toronto Blue Jays fans out there that you're almost guaranteed a profit if you buy a few or a lot of these. I kind of hit on this earlier with the coloring books, but these are, you know, slightly different. They're hand lettering books, but they're Disney themed, Disney branded. There's Nickelodeon themed ones too, and they have varieties of relatively similar, you know, I'll call them coloring books. They're not coloring books, but they're books that you draw in. Uh, they're relatively educational, I guess, uh, and paying a dollar per, if you were to buy these, you know, this frozen hand lettering book, or you were to buy the uh, Nickelodeon uh, alphabet or math or same or different book and you put them all together, let's say, yeah, you're three bucks in with these three titles right here. It's gonna ship for like three bucks because they're, they're books, it's media mail. Uh, you could sell this for $15, five bucks a book. You could sell it for $10 even, and you're still making out with a very uh, respectable profit. $3 in, three bucks to ship, $4 profit. Not bad, not bad at all. Of course, you gotta pay eBay fees. Those are about 10%. Uh, if you make money, you gotta pay taxes on that money. But uh, in terms of like the math, the math definitely, uh, in terms of like cost of goods and shipping and profit, certainly adds up. Some more Disney themed mini figurines right here. A lot of Finding Nemo toys. Uh, Dory, Nemo. Over here is a, uh, what's it called? The Incredibles, right? That brand of toy, that movie saga or series. You can bundle these all together and make some good money, but you don't only have to sell Disney stuff. That isn't the only profitable thing. And I'm saying this because just to the right of this are these, they're not rock'em sock'em robots, but they're supposed to be like that. They're called robot finger fighters. Combatants à doy, whatever that is in French. And these are selling individually for about eight bucks a piece. That seems crazy to me, uh, but I'm not the one buying them. I'm the one selling them. And all I really care about is the evidence on eBay of existing sales. Okay, so we're saving the best for last and the second best for second last. Uh, but quick while you're here, give the video a thumbs up. And if you like videos like this, let me know in the comments below. And please subscribe if you aren't already. So these are grow toys. You put them in water and supposedly they claim to grow 600%. Now you're going to get a little bit less than 600% ROI on these, but they are still profitable, especially when you bundle them and even more especially. Uh, with the large items like the crocodiles down there or there's some snakes down there too. I don't know what they're doing with them. Maybe they're being used as pranks. Maybe kids just love crocodiles and snakes. But if you can put three or four of these in a bundle together, you are gonna make probably five or 10 bucks on that bundle because they're selling for about five to eight bucks a piece. That seems crazy to me again, but all we really care about is the sales history, not the individual items value to us, but to our customer. All right, guys, time for the grand finale. I saw these two boxes and my eyes lit up. They are two untouched cases of Hot Wheels, brand new Hot Wheels. Uh, and the way you're gonna sell these is not by scanning the barcode. You're gonna have to look up the car by its name and its name is printed on the bottom of the front of the package. So you see right there, those two names, that's what they're called. That's what you look up. And when you do this on eBay, you are going to be amazed, totally amazed at how much some people spend on these cars. Now, granted, not all of them are profitable. You're gonna have to go through and look them up. But when you find some winners, put that in the old brain bank uh, and remember it, you know, for eternity until you die. And every time you go to a Dollar Tree, you can look for that car. That's the video, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope I helped you save some money or make some money. And if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, uh, and watch out for the next Dollar Tree video that's coming out soon this week. I think it might be about home goods uh, and things I buy to save money. I'll see you later.